zinc metal will reduce copper two plus in solution. Now, this goes back to issues in electrochemistry or in oxidation reduction chemistry and redox chemistry. And it comes down to this idea of the activity series, which you can see to the left. The activity series basically tells you how easy it is to oxidize a metal, how easy it is to turn a metal from the neutral kind of metallic form into an ion. So you can see these oxidation reactions here, right? Solid lithium going to lithium plus and spitting out an electron. This is oxidation, right? Oxidation is the loss of electrons. And this is your series. Ones closer to the top are easy to oxidize. Uh, they want to oxidize. Ones at the bottom are hard to oxidize and don't want to. So ones closer to the top prefer to be positive where ones closer to the bottom prefer to be in the metallic form. Now, what does it mean here? Zinc metal will reduce Cu2+. Well, let's find the locations of each. So here's zinc, and here is copper. So what does this mean? Since zinc is higher on the chart, zinc prefers to be positive, more so than copper prefers to be positive. So nature has a choice, right? If I put zinc metal, if I put Zn and Cu2 plus in solution, nature has a choice. Either you can keep the things the way they are, we can keep zinc as zinc and copper as the ion, or we can make zinc the ion and copper into the metal, right? We can switch, we can make zinc lose two electrons and give them to copper, copper then becomes the meta neutral metal and zinc becomes the ion. So what happens here? Well, remember, zinc wants to become positive more so than copper does. So nature's gonna say, well, it's more stable or at least it makes more sense by those rules to have zinc spit out its two electrons as so, and this is my oxidation. And then to have copper take those two electrons and become the metal, right? Since this is lower on the chart, it wants to be the metal and it wants to be the ion. So that is gonna happen. So indeed, zinc metal will reduce copper two plus. Copper two plus will be reduced into the metal and copper two plus is therefore gonna oxidize zinc. So this is true from the activity series and from our analysis of it. Uh, the activity series is not something you generally need to memorize. So this question is kind of tough um, I think I would just remember this main case that zinc is always going to oxidize copper. Um, or excuse me, zinc is going to reduce copper. Let's look at the next one. Zinc is a more active metal than copper. Yeah, I mean, that's what we just talked about, right? Zinc is higher on the list, which means it's more active than copper is. And this is indeed also a correct explanation because this explains its higher activity, explains why uh, the zinc will become the ion and the copper ion will turn into the plain old copper.